everybody, welcome to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. Today we're going back to the 1970s and maybe one of the most famous, one of the best acoustic rock songs of all time, not only from that decade, but in rock history. And we're talking about Wish You Were Here from Pink Floyd. What a great song and a cool song to play on the mandolin. Um, I might point out here that there are other lessons on mandolin on this song. However, I'm going to show you a little bit more detail on how to play that opening riff. All right, so we're going to get into how to play that opening riff on the mandolin, which, well, other videos maybe don't cover or don't cover in detail for you. So we're going to do that here. But first, before we dive into that lesson, I'd just like to remind you, if you haven't subscribed already, if you're new here, well, then I'm not reminding you, I'm just letting you know um, that please, if you could hit that little red subscriber button down there in the lower right corner. If you are already a subscriber here, again, thank you very much for supporting this channel. We really appreciate it. We love to get all of your emails and messages and song suggestions. Also, if you can, why not check out our Patreon page and become a patron of Rock and Pop Mandolin. For a very minimal contribution to Rock and Pop Mandolin, starting as low as $2 a month, you can gain access to some really cool content that won't be here on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel focuses on uh, learning songs, but I do other types of lessons there on the Patreon channel. And uh, you know, if you, for a, for a contribution of $5 a month, you might be able to unlock some cool lessons for beginning mandolin. Things like how to tune the mandolin, how to put strings on it, all of that stuff will be coming up in the future on my brand new Patreon page, so please check the link down below. So now without any further talk and any further waiting, let's take a look at that Pink Floyd classic, Wish You Were Here for Mandolin on RPM. All right, we're taking a close-up look at Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. That opening riff and the opening lick is actually played over these opening chords. So let's look at the chords first. So the first chord you want to really uh, become aware of is that E minor chord. Again, I play it down here at the base of the mandolin, right here, the second fret of the D string, second fret of the A string, other two strings open. Really nice chord there. Um, I've seen other people teaching this song uh, with lessons on YouTube, and they're playing different voicings of that E minor chord. Personally, I think this is the best chord for that song. This is the best voicing of that chord, but to me, sounds the closest to the original song um, that was played on the guitar, on the acoustic guitar by David Gilmour of Pink Floyd. So there's your opening chord, E minor, all right? So, and then after that, the other chords you want to worry about here are G and later A. Okay, and let's take a look at that iconic opening riff, one of the great riffs in rock history. Um, starts like this. And, and it goes on from there. So what is that? Well, that is a really cool little hammer-on from the A to the B to the D right here, and then right into that E minor chord. All right, beautiful the way that the that was done in the original version. So the A note is here. You start off with the A, the second fret of the G string right there, and you just, you just hammer onto the fourth fret. What does hammer mean for you beginners? Well, that means just hitting a string without without picking it, right? You see that? I'm not picking that second note. I'm picking the D, which is the third note, the open D string here, but I'm not picking that second one, all right? So, and then just hit that E minor chord again, so. And the strumming there is just one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, right? Very easy strumming there, very. Keep it laid back and don't play this song too fast or you'll lose that really nice groove, okay? So again, the opening lick. Okay, so from the E minor, you wanna get the next part of the pattern, which goes. All right, so what's that? Well, your E minor uh, is locked in right there, so just hit that second fret on the D string, which is an E note right there. And then you skip on up to the fifth fret with your ring finger there, right? And then that open D note there, so. 
and then you jump up and play that over a G chord like that. With that same strumming pattern, one, two, like that. Okay, so one more time, that little opening riff, the two parts that we have now. All right, so do you have that? Maybe practice that over and over a few times so you get that down. Then the next part is similar, but he actually drops to a G note first before doing that A hammer on. I'll show you what I mean here. So let's do the opening part again. There's your G chord. Oh, okay, so what is he doing there? Well, he's hitting a G note first off that G chord, hitting that kind of the root there, and then, and then that same riff as I showed you before from the A to the B to the D, and then to the E minor again. So from the G, And you notice the strumming pattern there is a little bit different. He kind of catches that root note on the very last uh, beat of the bar, all right? So, so he's going like this. Right? So you see how that works there? It goes... Right? Right? Same thing again. Now the third time. Now the third time he does something a little different. He he uh, modulates down to an A chord, or actually on the guitar, it's some configuration of an A7 chord, all right? So you can play either the standard A chord here on the, on the mandolin, or you can play an A7 voicing, which I can show you here in a second. So I'll show you what I mean how he walks down to that A chord, all right? So let's play the first few patterns, and I'll show you where that comes in. So first time. Second time. Third time. Ooh, okay, so what happened there? Well, instead of going up on the E minor chord, you go down into an A chord, right? Or an A7, if you like, to replicate the original. Um, I just kind of do it like that, an A chord with a little note on the top there. Okay, so again, the walk down from the E minor, that's from that E note, like second fret there of the D string, and then the open D note, and then that B, and then the A. And when you hit the A, you wanna grab an A chord down here. So hit both of these strings with your first finger there, like that, all right? And then you can always bring in one of your other fingers up here to catch the high part of the A chord. So your A chord is second fret, second fret, fourth fret up there. Okay, you could even you could even play that A chord, but I wouldn't go there with that high A note. If you want to play an A7 chord, however, you can do this note here, which is your third fret of the E string. So you could go. That actually sounds pretty cool, and maybe that's closest to the David Gilmore original. Okay, let's take a look at the verses now. The chords are pretty simple. After that, after you land on that G from the opening riff, first chord is a C. So, so you think you can tell to a D chord. Heaven from hell, that's an A minor chord, right? And then blue sky from Paley, which goes back to a G. Okay, so those chords again to C. So you think you can tell to a D. Heaven from hell, right? That's an A minor chord. And then back to a G, right? And then the next verse, he goes up to the... Can tell the green field from a cold steel rail, right? So that's a D chord there. Can you tell the green field from a cold steel rail? That's a C chord, right? And then to the A minor chord, a smile from a veil. And then finally back to the G. 
All right, so again, once more through the chorus there after the G, so you think, so you think you can tell. That's a D chord, heaven from hell, A minor, right? And then the next line is blue sky from pain, right? Can you tell a green field from a cold steel rail, a smile from a veil, so you think you can tell. So C to D, A minor to G, and then D to C, A minor to G. And then the next verse goes, did they get you to trade? It's the same pattern again. Your heroes for ghosts, hot ashes for trees, hot air for a cool breeze. Right, I'm, I'm looking at the lyrics over here to help me because I don't remember them. Sorry about that. But the chords are, did they get you to trade your heroes for ghosts? So C to D, and again to A minor to G, right? And then finally, did you exchange a walk-on part in the war? And that part's a little different. Did you exchange is a C, and then a walk-on part in the war is A minor, and then finally, for a lead role in the cage, that's on the G. Okay, so one more time through those through that part of the verses. Did you trade your heroes for ghosts? So C to D, and then it's hot ashes for trees, A minor, and then hot air for a cool breeze, cold comfort for change is to the D chord. Did you exchange on a C chord a walk-on part in the war, A minor, for a lead role in the cage? That's on the G. Okay, and the Wish You Were Here part, the main chorus in this song, I guess you could call it, um, is a little bit different. Uh, same chords, really, but in a different pattern. So, oh, how I wish, I wish you were here. We're just two lost souls living in a fishbowl, year after year, running over the same old ground. What have we found? The same old fears. Wish you were here. Okay, so what are those chords? Well, it starts off with a C chord. How I wish, how I wish you were here to a D chord. We're just A minor souls living in a fishbowl. G after G, <laughs> and then running over the same old lines. That's a D to a C. What have we found? Same old A minor. Wish you were G. How I wish, how I wish you were here. again and one last thing you might want to try in this song you can call it an added bonus um, you can try to replicate those little bluesy licks that David Gilmore does near the beginning of the song you know so he's doing it over the over that pattern you know while one guitar is playing that he's doing things like this Okay, so what are those licks? Well, they're pretty close to what David Gilmore is doing on the guitar. I'm not quite bending the way he does. Um, it's harder to bend on a mandolin, I think, than it is on the guitar. Well, some people can do it, but I find it a little harder. So he's doing some open licks on an open G chord, right? Okay, so that first lick you can do like this. So it's pretty close to what Gilmore's doing. It's not exact, but it sounds pretty cool. So what am I doing there? Well, I'm hammering from the G all the way up to the D. I'm hammering some notes there. So, so I'm kind of just, so G and then second fret is an A and then a B on the fourth fret and then an open D. Then I'm catching that. I'm catching the E note down to the D, and then I'm kind of hammering off the B to a 
an A sharp note. It kind of gives you a little bluesy sort of lick there. So, and then just repeat it there. So that's just fourth to the third. All right, and that's the first part of it. The second part, now this is somewhat different than what David Gilmour does, but I like this for the mandolin. So this is an A chord. It's at the sixth fret of the G string and the seventh fret of the D, and then down to the fourth fret of the G and the fifth fret here of the D string, then down to your A chord, the two here, the two frets down there, and then I just catch the, from the, from the e, e note there, second fret of the D string in. So, so that last chord was a, a D, so. Right, and that. So next you wanna play a couple of licks that work going into the A chord. So you go like this. Right? So what's that? Well, that's just the. I'm just going from the A to the B. So, so A, B, and then D, B, E, right? Right, can you see that? Then I do a really quick pull off, off the E note there, but actually it's from an F note here, right? Like that. So, so three, two, open, and then four, open, two. So let's do this slowly one more time. All right. And then just, uh, you, can, you can take that B note and bend it a little bit up and then hit the D and the B and the A, right? So like that. And then basically the same lick again. I just go the second time. And then finally you're back into the G chord again. All right, I hope you can get your fingers around that. It's a little tricky, but maybe just review this video over and over a few times to get those actual notes. Okay, and that is Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd, one of the great songs of all time and certainly one of the most fun songs to play on the mandolin. And maybe you can even get some of those cool little David Gilmore licks under your fingers and really impress your friends. Thanks very much for tuning into RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin and for subscribing to this channel. We really appreciate it. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that little red button down there in the lower right corner. And please also check out our Patreon page. The link is below. Perhaps you'd like to become a patron of Rock and Pop Mandolin. Thanks again for watching. My name is Mike DeJong, and this has been RPM.